Hey, Scott Austin here from Jade Puma. In this video, I'm going to show you how to combine two products. If they're the same product, but in Shopify, they exist as two separate products. Uh, I'll show you the method that I use to combine them, right? You can manually do it inside of Shopify admin, or you know, you copy images from one to the other and, and that. I just find that too much of a hassle, right? I usually just do this through Excel, and that's the process I'm going to show you here. So in this store here, Fraggle Tribe, um, we migrated the content from Magento, and then we started combining each product color, you know, used to be its own product, and now we're turning color into a variant. And this one product, I, I haven't finished it yet, right? I've got the Alice board shorts. It's actually the same product as the board shorts. And they're just different colors showing here. So I want to combine these two products to be one product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the uh, Shopify admin. And I have brought up already the products for women's shorts. And here's the two products that I want to combine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check them both. And I'm going to say export. So I want to export the selected two products as a CSV, export products. There it goes, it downloads it right there. I'm going to open that up in the folder. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this CSV file in Excel. So, and it only has the two uh, different products, which are the same product I want to combine, right? And you'll notice there's you know tons of photos in both. So what I'm going to do and we've also got sizes and SKUs, right? So I'm gonna, the nice thing about this process is I won't lose any of my information about SKUs, photos, and inventory and all that good stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a third new product from these two old products. I could overwrite one of the existing ones, but I'm gonna create a new one. And the way you do that is create a unique handle. So I'm gonna call this Women's Board Shorts Women's Alice board shorts is the, the handle that I'm going to create. And I'm going to apply that to both of the products. So now that alone will combine the products. There'll be some mistakes if I just imported this up, but that's the first step is give them all the same product handle. Now the next thing I'm going to make sure is that the variants are in the right order. So size and size and color and color using the same names. So that's good. Um, this information here is not needed. You only need that on the first line of the product, right? So I'm going to get rid of those values there and these values here. And also, I'm going to go over to the photos. There's lots of photos here, right? So you notice in column Z, I've got this image position, one, two, three, four, five. And then it starts over again for the new product. So I need to keep that sequence going continuously across both of them. So now this one product will have 40 photos. And I also know that there's a couple fields right here to delete. And also the active one right there, get rid of that. That's a product level entry, not a variant level. Right? These, these are variant level entries that you can see here. This one's a product level one, so I have to delete it from this other product from the second product that I'm combining. And that is all I need to do. So now I'm going to save that CSV file as it is in its, in its current format. And close that out. I'm just going to change that to import. And I'm going to go back to my products in the Shopify admin. And I'm going to import. From the download section where download, there's the import file right there. I'm not going to overwrite, right, because I created a new handle for this one. So I'm going to hit upload and continue. I'm going to get the little verification screen that shows up here. That all looks good. I'm going to say import products. Now, if there's a lot of products, this process can take a little bit of time. But because it's only one product being uploaded, this shouldn't take us too long at all before it actually shows up. So I'm going to go back to my shorts on the front end and refresh that. Not showing up yet. I'm surprised this actually hasn't finished by now, but sometimes 
Uh, Shopify can be a little slower than we'd like. And normally these videos, I just run them straight through and don't edit them at all. So we're just going to wait here for another 30 seconds or so. There we go. All right, so now you can see the uh, new shorts have been added. Now, one thing I didn't do was change the product name, all right? So let's go back to here. Refresh that. So this is the new one that got added. You can see it's got the higher, you know, quantity in stock, but I want to rename this one to be board shorts. Make sure it's active. I'm going to call that the Alice board shorts. Save. I go ahead and preview that. And it's got more colors than the other one did. And there should be that whole, you know, massive number of 40 product photos in there to go through. So that that's the combined product. So then I get to go back to the admin and take the two shorts that are the originals, right? And now what I'm going to want to do is archive those. So I'm just going to go here and say archive products. And those will go into the background now. Now, our Shopify server is a little bit slow here today, so we'll see if it's caught up to us on all these changes here. When I go back into that shorts collection, yep, now I've only got the one pair. That's the combined one. I got more colors for it. So that's, that's the process that I go through to combine uh, two products into one. I use Excel. I export those two files out to a CSV edit in Excel, do a couple little manipulations to combine the information without losing any data for things like SKUs and inventory and photos and upload that back in under a new handle. And then I also archive the uh, two original files. So that's it. Thanks for watching.